I'm such a huge fan of this shark vacuum cleaner and I wanted to go through and let you know if it clogs or not and how it reacts with a heavy pet area living room and house. Once in a while it will clog, but it's pretty simple to fix. And actually I decided to go through and clean the whole vacuum cleaner because it's been a while. So let me go through and show you the process on this because I've had it for 15 months and I have never cleaned the whole vacuum. I've only fixed the clog part, which I will show in this video as well. So here's the vacuum and you can go through and hit these buttons to go through and pull the main area apart. And now we have the main area. So first we want to empty it out because it's dirty. So we're going to push this switch and make sure we get everything out. A lot of times I just move it around, bang it around until everything comes out. Sometimes you might have to grab in there. It's best to do this before you take a shower and take a shower after because it is messy if you haven't cleaned your vacuum in 15 months. If you want to make sure it's not this bad, I would say do it every six months. So here you can also pull the container off and now we can go ahead and work with it. There is a filter here. You don't want to pull it here. You want to grab it from the tag and you'll just pull it off and it'll be a little dirt. And then there's another one that we're going to go through and just pull off as well. And this one's going to be grimy, especially if it's been 15 months. <laughs> Hopefully it's only been six for you. So let's go through and do this. You'll know when it's time to do this filter part if you start smelling a not so good smell from your vacuum. That means it can't breathe well and this needs to go ahead and get taken care of. So we got this cleaned out and now let's check where the clogs usually come. First we can detach the bottom part and there is always a chance it can go up in the pipe area but it's very rare for me to, I don't think I've ever had a clog there. Usually it gets stuck in the bottom here. Now you can remove this with a screwdriver or a scissors like I am or just use like your finger to go up and underneath it or like a pen or something like that but it's much easier just pulling this piece off it's pretty easy to get off and you can see here where the main area is so that's where it'll go through and get stuck now you can see this clog here I was still vacuuming fine everything was still coming through I know I vacuumed something up a little few days ago and it was a little too big and it got stuck and that's what caused it so the vacuum still continued to work, but I wanted to clean it out to, you know, make sure it continues to work. So with this, now that we got that out, I usually kind of like use some type of tool. Like I have this little brush thing. I kind of pull stuff off here and brush it and just kind of scrape it out there and try to get it done. And the roller, you might have some hairs. You could use like a scissors to cut them or just pull it off like this. And then we're going to go through and wash this because now you can go ahead and wash it. And we're going to wash the pads first. And these, they, this one got pretty white. The other one didn't get as white. <laughs> so that's because I haven't done it enough. But I'm at the point where they're going to get dirty again. As long as there's nothing inside it, it's fine. I don't really care if it's just stained a little bit with the color. So I just went through with the hose over and over again on these. You could do it in your kitchen sink or something like that. But I'd rather be outside. You know, I don't want it, all this dirt in my house and just go through and wash it off nice and clean. Now we're going to wash this part. This is the part that came off with the scissors. We're just going to get that nice and clean. A lot easier just spraying this than trying to clean it down. Awesome. So you can also go through and remove the battery. And if you're going to be getting things wet, might be a good idea. Also check the other areas, make sure nothing's stuck in there. And we'll take the battery off here just to show you. It's a lot lighter then. There is a filter in here. You just got to kind of pinch. It takes a moment to kind of get it. But then once you do, it comes out nice and smooth. This area was nice and clean even after 15 months. So that's very good that the motor area and that filter are doing well. And that's exactly how to go through and clean and unclog your shark vacuum. Like I said, every six months would be plenty. I love this vacuum. I've had so many vacuums and they always broke. This is perfect. And the cordless one, you just don't understand how much you need a cordless one until you have it. I don't have to worry about plugging stuff in to try to get two rooms at once. Now I can just go wherever I want and it's also pretty light. Overall, best thing I've ever purchased. Definitely recommend it. Hey everyone, before we wrap up, I just want to let you know, if you're interested in purchasing the product I reviewed today, there's a link in the description box below.
Just to be completely transparent with you all, I do earn a small commission for many purchases made through the link, but it doesn't cost you any extra. But using my link will go through and support my work, and I generally appreciate that. Your support helps me continue to create more content and provide honest reviews for you. If you'd like to see more product reviews, feel free to visit my Amazon storefront below. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope my tutorials continue to be helpful to you.